All right, Greg, make sure you keep that left arm extended while you're in your stance uh, to eliminate any type, of, any type of counter movement so we don't waste time with that one. Get more weight on that right hand when you're in your stance. It looks like you're kind of sitting back on your sitting back on your uh, on your feet. I want you I want you sitting up a, a, a little bit more on your on your right hand. I want you to have more of a, a sensation of you like you feel like you're getting ready to fall forward. Okay, uh, keep your head down. That looks that looks like a, a pretty good job. Make sure you swing the arms. I'm talking coming right out of your stance. Swing the arms simultaneously and swing them as hard as you possibly can. Like with that right hand is on the ground, remember think about like you have a tennis ball in your hand and you're trying to throw that tennis ball back behind you as hard as possible. That's how I want those arms, that's how I want those arms moving. That left arm was swinging that all the way through. The upper arms come up to the ear on the first two to three strides. Hopefully you're gonna, uh, that exaggerated arm swing is gonna give you an exaggerated knee drive. Get that full extension. I want to, I want to uh, think about your steps gotta be as, as explosive as possible. So you gotta, your feet really need to attack the ground. It's not enough to just stand up and run. I want you to attack the ground and explode off, explode off of the ground with every step. Remember, we want like the person that can accelerate the fastest or get the top speed the fastest and maintain it is a person that's gonna run the fastest 40.